What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. We are here today bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Iron Valiant again in Series 2, but this time with a very cool team. We got Life Orbs for Rule Edge, rocking out with Choice Scarf, Garchomp, and one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, King Gambit. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as kind of creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to support your boy by subscribing to the channel. It really goes a long way, more than you guys would ever know. So I got to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But like I said, we're rocking with Iron Valiant today. And this is one of my favorite Paradox Pokemon, just design wise. Super cool looking. It has like a double bladed sword. I just think it looks amazing and it's so much fun to use on the rank ladder. But we have that Pokemon in the top left hand corner to get us started here with today's team preview. We got Quirk Drive and a Focus Sash as its item and ability. And then rocking a crazy cool moveset Moon Blast, Close Combat, Icy Wind and Protect. Two special attacking moves, one physical attacking move. Pretty cool. Gonna see its stats. Gonna hopefully. Uh, Hopefully work out with that, you know, because it could be weird because like maybe one stat would be higher than the other. But I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive that both their stats are pretty similar, so it won't really affect us too much. King Gambit's going to be our second Pokemon. Nice Pokemon in the Trick Room or outside of the Trick Room as well. That's Defiant and the Soul Fest as his item. Rocking Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, and Brick Break, which is an amazing moveset for King Gambit. Third Pokemon is going to be Cerulea. Cerulea is, is another one of those Pokemon that I just love its design. Flash Fire, Life Orb as item. Bitter Blade, Shadow Sneak, Sword Stance to set up that attack boost and protect for our final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Rotom Wash. And Rotom Wash, I feel like in every single game it, it has been in, it has just been amazing on the competitive ladder. Same goes for this game right here. This one has Levitate, Citrus Berry as item, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Will O Wisp, and Protect. Really cannot go wrong with that moveset. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be our lovely Mushroom Pokeball Fungus Pokemon. Amoongus, <laughs> Regenerator, Rocky Helmet as his item, Rage Powder, Spore, Palm Puff, Protect, another moveset that you really can't go wrong with. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Garchomp, and I haven't really used Garchomp too much on the Series 2 ladder. He was more prevalent in uh, Series 1, but this is actually my first time using him in Series 2. Probably still just as strong, really, really good all around, but there are a few Pokemon that can counter him, such as Iron Valley and the oh-so-powerful Fluttermane, so that's why you're not seeing too much Garchomp on the ladder as much. But again, still Garchomp, strong Pokemon once you get him out in a good situation. This one has Ruskin and the Choice Scarf as his item, Earthquake, Stomp and Tantrum, Dragon Call, and Iron Head Forge moveset. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Iron Valiant and Life Orb Cerule Edge team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, going up against a really cool team with Fluttermane, Golden Go, Skull Villain, Garchomp, Scissor, who has been amazing in Series 2, and last but not least, they have their Murkrow for support. So just like us, we both have one Paradox Pokemon. Really, really cool. But I want to see, like I said, I want to see Iron Valley and stats right here. And like I said, like or like I thought, special attack and attack stats are pretty much the same. So I'm liking it a lot. Its speed's very high too. Love it. Loving its speed. Absolutely loving its speed. But who should I lead here? How should I lead this one? I like the names on the Pokemon too. Land Shark. <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> my favorite. That's, that's one of my favorite names. That's one of my favorite names. Among Us. <laughs> Um, okay, but I gotta figure this one out. I got 40 seconds left. I gotta pick something out. Um, hmm. Could go in with uh, Iron Valiant, which I kind of like here. Have, have a few super effective moves on the few. We can also have that Icy Wind for Speed Control. Kind of just getting after it that way. So I'm digging that. I am digging that. Could go through Ledge here as well. Especially if they want to pop a Tailwind. I could definitely set up like a Sword Dance. Just start Shadow Sneaking through. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. You know, I am going to go through Ledge. Actually, no, we're going to go. We're going to go here because I, li I like having this Pokemon. As nice little lead. And I am going to go through Ledge and Garchomp for my final Pokemon. Loving this team. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's like to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yo, do that Among Us team has me cracking up. Speaking of Among Us, I actually played it like two nights ago because sometimes when we have like a ton of my boys online and we're, everyone's playing different games, somebody's just in the chat. There's like, like we had 10 on yesterday on a, on a party chat. And we're sitting there and we're just like, yo, let's get some Among Us one because we never tried like the new mode. I think it's called Hide and Seek came out like a couple months ago we tried it out and it's just just so much fun getting your boys to play some among us always a good time it's always a good time they end up leading garchomp alongside with alongside murko and i think just a free icy one might be your call here right slow down obviously i could moon blast i could 100 percent moon blast here but i'm going to fast slice into flying just in case the eq wants to come through and i'm just gonna go from there and i'm also going to just count just seems like my play and double down to this Garchomp slot. The reason I'm not Moonblasting is because I do feel as the Garchomp is going to Terrasalize. 
So that could be a problem. But yo, Iron Valiant Shiny looking insane. It is looking insanely good. But Terrasize is going to come out of here probably straight ground, correct? It's got to be. A little bit of fire action. That's fine. And that still is why I didn't move less. But Icy Wind gives us SP control. Tailwind might be popping here. Not cool with this. This has got to be an EQ, right? Unless you're going for Terra Blast, which I wouldn't mind Terra Blast either. Because I'm Terrasizing the fire. I'm hoping it's an EQ. Just so we can dodge it. And the reason I feel like it's an EQ is because they got Merc right next to him. It's free EQs for him. Why wouldn't you go into EQs? Tailwind comes out here. EQ popping. Are you popping EQ? Because I could Sucker Punch that thing down next turn. If need be. No, it's going to straight Terra Blast. Who are you going after? Is that going after Iron Valiant? You are going after Valiant. You got to crit. That's fine. We have to focus Ash regardless. this. And Icy Wind's going to fly here. So we're going to get not too much speed control considering. Considering they have Tailwind up. But still, I'll take that. I'll take that. Tau Tau Cleave going to come in here. And I can always just Sucker Punch and finish this thing off. Actually, maybe not. Rough Skin's going to do some damage to me. And I'm thinking just protecting here. Protecting, going for another Tau Tau Cleave. And then Sucker Punch that thing down. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm fine with this. Might be dropping a Rock Slide. You never know. It is dropping a Rock Slide. Can you dodge this, Gamby? Gamby, give me a little dodge action here. Give me a little dodge action. Oh, I love you. I love you! Big time dodge. Foul play flying out here. Gonna chunk up some nice damage. And now I can just Sucker Punch freely into that thing to pick up the KO. Or I just get a crit. Okay, that works. That works too. That's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. Gamby, 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 Gamby with the big time dodge. Uh, I could save Iron Valiant for later. I could definitely do that, but I kind of want to get rid of Merc from here. It's tough. We'll see what Pokemon they go into. But we're just trying to waste out this Tailwind turns along with getting rid of Merc. Kind of tough. Kind of tough, but we're doing pretty good right now. Not bad. Not bad. They're going to go into the next Pokemon. It's going to be Flutter. Mm. Mm. Flutter main seems to be a problem. Obviously, I want to sucker punch in that. I'm going to Moonblast down this slot, and I'm going to go for the sucker punch in this slot, right? Get off as much damage as I possibly can. That's fine by me. I feel like he just KOs both my Pokemon, right? Gleam, then a foul play. Seems like the play. Seems like the play. We'll see what our opponent wants to do, but I really want to get rid of that Murkrow. Sucker punch is going to fly. Big time damage onto that. And then there, here comes the Gleam. And then the foul play to finish off my King Gambit, correct? Makes the most sense, but I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. We have Cerule Edge in the back end for Shadow Sneaks. Really, really good. Then I also have the Guard Chomp with Choice Scarf. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. Because I think there's one more turn left in Tailwind, and that is exactly what I would want. That is exactly what I would want. That's exactly what I want. Is one more turn left in Tailwind, just so I can finish off this Murkrow. And he can't go Tailwind next turn. I got my boy Cerule Edge out here. Cerule Edge ready to go. Ready to rip with Shadow Sneak. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, yeah. Shadow Sneak gonna come in here. And, ooh. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I thought we had Rock Slide, but I think we're fine just choosing it to Dragon Call, right? What other Pokemon could you have in the back end? That's tough. I think we have to choose in Dragon Call, right? If I had to guess your final Pokemon, it's gotta be a Steel-type Pokemon, right? Which is why I really don't want to choice in a Dragon Call. But I have Shrew Edge to kind of counter that up. So I'm cool with that. Shadow Sneak going to fly through here. Finish you off. No problem. Get it on out of here. And we're going to go from there. I got a, a Foul Play. Might do me dirty. I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can eat up a Foul Play here. It's scaring me. Dragon Call going to fly here. Chip up some damage. Evil Light doing good. And Foul Play's going to fly through here. And going to Chomp. I can, I can deal with that. So Rough Skin's going to chip him up. And Tailwind's going to be gone. So Tailwind is gone. I could set up a Sword Dance here. He's going to end up sending out Skull Villain. I'm cool with Skull Villain. The Bitter Blade into it. Get some HP back. I feel like Bitter Blade has to be my play. And just Dragon Claw and try to finish off the Murkrow. Because if Murkrow does a Tailwind here, we get, a, we get a, a speed. We get speed. And he doesn't Tailwind. He goes straight for the KOs. That's fine. Dragon Claw pops out here. We say see you later. We're choice into that. Loving it. And now it's pretty much GG, right? 2 on 1 against the Skull Villain. We're fine here. Energy Ball comes out here. You might be able to eat this. You do. Awesome. Dope. Lovely. Lovely. So we have Garchomp for another turn. Bitter Blade's gonna do some nice damage. Oh, we're just KO. Oh my god. It's a Rule Edge. It's a Rule Edge. <laughs> wow. I, I thought it was gonna do like... 
like low yellow HP. This thing just dumped on it. No crits needed. No crits needed. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number one. We dominate. We take the victory. Hopping into our second battle. Our first match went pretty well. Got our Iron Valley out there in the beginning. Got some work done with that. Waited out the tailwind. Then had Cerule Edge Garchomp coming to back end. Clean it up. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. But it got the job done. Second match here. And we're going up against another Flutter main team with King Gambit, Talonflame, Amoongus, Mousehold, and Palafin. I love Palafin. That dolphin's adorable. I just want like I just want to rip it up by its little fins. Give it a nice big hug. But <laughs> who should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Talonflame... It's going to be an easy lead for them, so mm, I wish I had Rock Slide on this card chomp. But Rinse Cycle wouldn't be bad. I don't mind having Rinse Cycle. Either. Super effective onto a few. I kind of dig it. I can also burn physical attackers, which I really, really like. You know, I am going to go into you, and I definitely want Cerule Edge in here. I really like Cerule Edge, but I might end up leading my Focus Ash Iron Valley in again. Just really good Pokemon all around. I think it's going to be nice. We're going to go there, there, go Cerule Edge, and then either Garchomp or Gambit. Garchomp or Gambi. Hmm. What is my play here? Garchomp or Gambi? I do like the Gambit for first turn priority, but Garchomp with the Choice Scarf is really, really good as well. What is my play? I think I'm going to go with the Choice Scarf Garchomp. I just think that speed can really help us out. I like, and, and if I can get him out there freshly on like a one-on-one, -on -one, we can choice to a good move like EQ up against the King Gambit or like an Iron Head up against the... Uh, the Flutter main if it's a 1v1, and we might be able to out- Yeah, we should be able to outspeed if it's neutral, no Tailwinds on the field. My Choice Scarf Garchomp can outspeed all these Pokemon, and roll out pretty good. So they're going to end up leading Tau, Flame, and Palafin, so pretty pretty uh, decent combo there. And I think Tailwind does get set up here. And we just go into a straight Thunderbolt in this slot. And I could Icy Wind, but who do I think he's going to swap it to? Because Palafin 100% get swapped. It's only a matter of who it, who's going to be, right? I feel like Fluttermane could be that call, right? I feel like Fluttermane could be that call. Uh, you know, I'm just going to rip it to a Moonblast in this slot regardless. So we'll see. Maybe I should have will with that slot, but... Hmm, I just don't like it because I don't want him going into a special attacker. Just wasting my turn there. I'd rather just throw a nice little Thunderbolt into the town from slot and go from there. So obviously Tailwind's probably here, right? Got to be Tailwind, turn one. You withdraw. That is fine. Who are you going to go into from here? I'm not going for a water move. Where are you going into? I know Tailwind, that's fine, but Amoogus is going to come out here. And this is just going to protect. I'm, I can get down with that. I can get down with that. Moonblast is going to get blocked. And Thunderbolt is going to come across here, which this thing's going to soak pretty well. Can we get a power, though? Give me a little help here. No, no paralyze. Uh, okay. So obviously, Rage Powder could be a thing. He could also Spore. Uh... I gotta swap in this rule edge, right? There's no way you're going for a flip turn into my... Into my what's it called? There's no way you're going to a flip turn into my Rotom. So I'm gonna swap in this rule edge, just so I can deal with the bit of, uh, the Amoongus later. And I'm gonna Icy Wind. Who are you Sporing though? You gotta be Sporing one of my Pokemon, correct? Flutter Mane's gonna come out here, so this could be solid. We could swap in a Garchomp here. Could swap in a Garchomp. If we want to. But I'm also swapping my Rotom. We could swap in the Garchomp. But I don't think we do. I oh, know we already swapped in the Edge. <laughs> it's all good. I, I like Shrew Edge a little bit better here anyway. But Icy Wind's gonna fly here. And we're gonna deal a little bit of damage. Take off Sash if Fluttermane does have it. And more importantly, get that speed drop. The Spore's definitely coming out here, right? It's gotta be a Spore. You're Spore in my Shrew Edge slot. The one Pokemon that I really want. Okay, I might still Terrasalize that Pokemon. I might Terrasalize him. I could go straight dark. Mm, that's not good. That's not good. It's not good. Of course he spores me. That hurts his soul. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Huh. I gotta go here. This sucks, man. This is awful. <laughs> this is awful. This is awful. I could go for another icy win. I mean, actually, I don't want to swap you. I don't want to waste that turn. This is just... Where is it in such a tough spot? We're in such a tough spot, but I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a Moonblast here. Hopefully, it doesn't Rage Powder. It doesn't Rage Powder. Cool. We have Speed. We get off some nice damage. We get a Crit. Another one should be able to KO, and we get a Special Attack drop. That's huge. That's big time. Shrew Edge is still gonna be slumped. Let's see what he's doing. You spore me again? Are you spore me again? You're gonna take me out with the Shadow Ball, which hurts the soul. Actually, we eat. 
That's actually fine. You're gonna spore. You're gonna spore again? Come on now. Come on now with the spores. Come on now with the spores. Leave me alone here. Leave me alone. We'll go for the Shadow Sneak. We'll look for the KO. And I guess I'll just go for another Moon Blast. Just double down here. But I'm asleep. I need you to wake up, Sludge. One of you guys wake up. Double Spore. Come on now. They should really make it a thing. If you have both Pokemon out on the field asleep, your Pokemon should wake up faster. But that is that is terrible. That is terrible. Shadow Ball's going to fly out here. Really does me dirty. I had my first turn priority Pokemon. I was playing that one actually really well. But Double Spore. I don't get how Spore's 100% landing. I, I don't think it should be. He's gonna pop up. Oh no, come on now. Now you're just healing up your flutter main. Unreal. 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 Go back in the road, Tom. Uh we're gonna hope that we get a straight up iron head this point, right? He probably think he probably thinks that he's faster, right? We're choosing an iron head. We have to. It's our, it's our last option. I'm just gonna ice him in. Please don't rage powder here. Anything but a rage powder. I still have my Terra. He ends up protecting. You're gonna spore me again. Gonna spore me again. You're just gonna spore me again. Now I'm choice into this. I'm gonna be spored. I, I can't deal with this. Iron Valiant does wake up, which is solid. And Ice Human's gonna fly. But now my Garchomp's asleep. Right? You gotta be spored, my Garchomp. You have to be spored, my Garchomp. I feel like we have to terrestrialize from here, right? And just hope for the wake up as soon as possible. This is bad. This is bad. I don't. I don't really know what to do at this point. I really don't know what to do. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna terrasize you in the straight ground. Just hope we can get a quick wake up, and just start icy wind. Because Fluttermane is minus on special attack, which is pretty good for us. And this is just awful. I. I don't know what to do. The Moogus put three of my Pokemon to sleep, and I really want to win this battle. I really want to win this battle. And we were sitting pretty good. I had a chance to KO the Amoongus and then Tilly put me to sleep. It's like, come on now. Do me dirty. And that's what I was hoping. When I swapped into the Shrew Edge, I was hoping he was not putting my Shrew Edge to sleep because that was my KO chance. But he put me to sleep. And it's just been downhill from there. It's been downhill from there. Icy Wind's going to fly here. Are you sporing my Iron Valley again? Please, please don't tell me you don't. Please don't tell me you're sporing my Iron Valley again. We're going to Moon Blast. You're able to eat. You're able to eat up another one. And you're gonna pump up HP recover. If I could just wake up, that thing's dead. That's all I need. All, that's all I need. Unless that thing's sashed. But I'm icy winning again, just in case it is sashed. Can you wake up, Garchomp? Well, one of you guys got. Like you have to wake up here. You wake up here, we win the game. We pretty much win. Actually, I wouldn't say we win the game, but we get right back into it. Let's go, Chompy. Let's go, Chompy. I need you here, dog. I need you here, dog. Come on, Chompy. Come on, Chompy. Big time wake-ups. I'm, I'm throwing water in your face. Wake up. Dude, this should be illegal. You should be able to use two spores, two spores only. And I'm missing Icy Winds at this point. Real ugly. Who we hitting here? And Amoongus. I can deal with that. I swear, if Amoongus puts me to sleep, I'm going to cry. Moonblast flying through here. Going into Valiant. Cool, we have Focus Ash. That works a little bit better. And I bet she puts me to sleep. Put me to sleep. Listen, if you guys play like this, get on out of here. Just leave. Just leave. Okay. I'm asleep now, so if this thing has focus ash, we Oh, if this thing has focus ash, we're sitting we are it's ugly. Watch this thing's gonna have focus ash. You're gonna rage powder. Okay, I can deal with that. That's fine, so we can rid of you. Our champ does wake up. Beautiful. Finally. Finally, you wake up. Watch, it's gonna get a crit or something. Actually, I'm dead. Rocky Helmet KOs me. Rocky Helmet makes Fluttermane be able to do enough damage to KO me. Uh, sleep for 60,000 turns. Moon Blast comes out here. And you go after the bounce. Okay. You're giving me a shot here. You give me a shot here. Because I can easily double down on the Fluttermane here. I could easily double down on the Fluttermane. But the real question is do I double down on the Fluttermane? I don't know if I want to, because I feel like it's going to protect, right? It could easily protect here. It's going to go in the Palafin. Oh, no. You, I'm, you jet punch, I die. You jet punch, and I die. So it looks like we're going for Iron Head here. He's going to jet punch me, KO me, and I'm just going to try to Thunderbolt this thing down. Because Fluttermane is slow, and its special attack is low. 
We're gonna end up seeing a terrestrialization from him. This is easy a jet punch by. But I cannot believe I would, like how how many turns did I just lose from being asleep? Had to be like nine. And of course this thing's grass terror type. Awful, awful battle here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys had to watch that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm ridiculously. I apologize. I apologize. Jeans apologizes for this one. Jeans apologize. But you know what? I'm gonna promise you guys victory in battle number three. Just because you guys had to sit around and watch this. Watch this nonsense. But Thunderbolt's gonna fly here. East Terror in the grass. Not gonna do too much damage. Can we get a para just to rub it in? No, we don't need to get a para. Moonblast's gonna fly here. And Rotop soaks pretty well. And I did have. Don't I have a burial on this thing? I do have a burial. You know what? We're gonna go right after this thing. Actually, I'm gonna Thunderbolt it first. I'm gonna Thunderbolt it first, but it's not looking good for us. Jet Punch's gonna fly here. Do a lot of damage, actually. Good chunk of damage. Gets a crit. That's what is going on here? The game just wants me to lose at this point. But yeah, they seriously got to do something about the spores. I feel like it is way too OP. I get like spore and trick room. I get that. And I understand like, okay, he's slow and he gets spore. I'm going to run this battle. But like when you are able to do that and just spore constantly and win a game, it's just unreal. It is unreal. That last battle, I don't even want to talk about it. How many times I get spored? About four. Hurts hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul. Just trying to have some fun, record a video for you guys, and I have a little Amoongus over there just waving a mushroom around, putting all my Pokemon to sleep. What can I do about that? Nothing. We'll just take that one to the chin. We'll hop into our third and final battle. Look for a winning record for today's video. Going up against an Indeedee and Armourish team. We know that team is stacked. We know that team's going to be hard to counter up on, too. Uh, they also have Roar Moon, the Water Tauros, and then... Uh, what is that? Sylveon, and last but not least, rocking out with Volcarmon. So you actually wouldn't be bad here. I don't mind you here. You do have Flying Terror, which could be really good for us. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna go Flying Terror if he goes Sylveon. So I'm gonna go King Gambit for the lead. I also want to lead. I'm thinking Valiant. Valiant's just a solid lead all around. Really solid lead all around. We can't sucker punch if they do go into that terrain, but. I'm fine with just Terrasalize and going into Countdown Cleaves. That works for me. I'll bring the Garchomp in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go Cerule Edge or do I go in with my boy Rotom? I kind of want Rotom because Tauros is there. And plus he has two other Fire Pokemon. Yeah, you know what? I'm stop overthinking that, Jeans. We're taking the Rotom here. Rotom washing machine. Ready to rip it up. But yeah, last battle. Mm, irks me. First battle went good. Nice little dub for us. Controlled that battle really well. Now we're sitting in your second match. This dude's holding the moon. Looking pretty cool. Looking pretty tough. Let's see if they're going to end up leading. Armourouge and Tauros come out here. Uh, I don't mind the Armourouge and Tauros. I do not mind the Armourouge and Tauros. I mean, I can definitely see... Oh, I get Defiant Pop too. That's huge. So I have Defiant Pop in here. And I could definitely see them hard swapping. Maybe into Indeedee. So I'm just going to Moonblast this slot and Caltech leave the other one. I have Focus Ash. There's no need for me to Thrasalize here. And I'm just going to straight up attack. Oh, okay, I can deal with that. They do outspeed it, right? Yep, and Moonblast going to fly here. And just KO it. Hot start. Hot start. Hot start, baby. Hot start. We love it. Hot. Let's go. Let's go. I want this dub. I want this dub. Because that last match, uh, I need a dub. I need to cleanse my soul. I need to cleanse my soul. But Armourish ends up protecting the shot. It's fine. And he's going to go into Indeedy. So now the combo comes out here. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to rip it up. It's like a surge popping. No sucker punches. Got to remember that. And he could end up following me. But I feel like we just keep Kowtow cleaving, right? Special defense boost comes out here. We are plus one on attack due to Defiant. I might, I might hit something. I might hit something hard. I'm, I might just dump on Indeed here. The armor is going to Terrasalize, correct? It seems like it has Terrasalize here. Then I could just Moonblast it because it... Hmm. I'm just going to Icy Wing. Get a little bit of speed control here. So Indeed goes for follow me anyway. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Iron Valiant should go next. We go for a nice little icy win here. We get, we're going to be able to get rid of Indeedee with this next shot. I'm hitting like a truck. And you actually outspeed, which is a little weird. It does not affect me. It does not affect my Gambit, which is good. We're Dark-type. And Iron Valiant is going to go down to Focus Ash. 
totally fine by me. We're going to say bye-bye to Indeedee. Indeedee, get on out my face. And I'm really surprised that that uh, armor did not crash last. But yeah, Indeedee, gone. <laughs> Gambit just slicing and dicing here. Later. That thing on out of here. So we get rid of Indeedee. We got sword on Gambit's head and sword in Iron Valiant's head. But yo, that sword's tough. That sword's so tough. The Iron Valiant. I absolutely love it. And then from here, I could Terrasize into flying. I mean, I'm just going to keep Icy Windy. Do I Terrasize into flying? Probably going for a fire move, right? Yeah, let's just Terrasize into flying. We have Gambit just teeing off here. Might as well use it a bit more. And then we'll just Icy Wind just to slow down Bulk a little bit. So here goes my Terrasization. He is not Terrasizing the armors, which is great news for us. Great, lovely news for us. So, armor is pretty much dead here. I think he wants to go into a fire move here. I think that's his plan. Heat wave coming in here. Taking out Valiant. You get a crit on my Gambit, which hurts a little bit. And I'm surprised you outspeed. You might be choice. You must be choice, right? That's a fast Volcrona. And Flamethrower is going to fly here as well, which we should be able to eat up. And this is exactly why we Terrasize. Now I just dropped his Kowtow Cleave. We say bye bye to Armor. We are ripping with Gambit. Gambit is not playing around. Just slapping fools left and right. Get them on out of here. Get them on out of here. And then I can go into my final Pokemon, which will be this Rotom. And that's going to be the game. That is going to be the game. Lovely. It's, it's lovely. It is lovely. So from here, Sucker Punch could be good, but I can't use it. So we're just going to stick with the Kowtow Cleave. Hit that, and then try to land a Hydro Pump. But battle is canceled. Quick third and final battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you guys I'm winning match number three, and I prevailed for you. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing set of battles for today's video. Or I should say amazing first and third battle. Because second battle, like I said, hopefully you guys still enjoyed. <laughs> that battle was awful. That was awful probably the watch. So I apologize for that one. But still, 2-1. Grab ourselves a winning record. Got to showcase Iron Valiant yet again. And King Gambit got repping there. But more importantly, I got to showcase this Rule Legend series too, which I really want to do in today's video. I feel like it did pretty good. I feel like it definitely did pretty solid. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.